still a wide open betting market here with um, Pater Merchant, your uh, joint favourite now with uh, number 19, the Blue Shem on 4 to 1, La Hoguera on 5 to 1, Zehitov along with Dordan's Cross, and it's 6 to 1 bar. But 7 to 2 joint favourites, number 19 and 33, that's the Blue Sham and Pater Merchant. 7 to 2 joint favourites. Called in, Orphan Racing. Race two is this four-year-old Geldings Maiden, sponsored by Tattersalls. They have 13 fences to take in this contest, and as they make the long run to fence number one, extremely busy, sent to the lead in the early stages by James Hannan, is up there just ahead from in second place is Zivatov. Also to the fore on the outside there in the yellow silks is Moon Phases. These three just ahead then from... In about fourth or fifth place, you've got Castle Swan and then the Higuera is not too far off the leaders in the mid-pack as well. The one who's anchored at the back of the field the early days is Mountain Port. So three fences up the home straight to take on this initial circuit and they all take number one safely. And on the inside, it's extremely busy, just about sharing the lead now with up there in second position is Castle Swan. They're one and two, extremely busy. Castle Swan has come to the front. This one, ridden by Harry Goff, son of trainer Mick Goff, and it goes to the, lead, to the lead now, does Castle Swan as it comes to the third fence. Castle Swan, three or four lengths in front. Over in second is extremely busy. In the yellow silks there in third is Tiernan. Power Roach aboard Moon Phases. On that one's outside is La Higuera, and deepest of all is the Elliot runner in the field, Patter Merchant, in the hands of Harry Swan. Back to midfield in the purple jacket, and about sixth is Zivatov for Brian Don Levy, who is in company with Joey Don, who's aboard the Blues Man. After that one, Pa King has settled at Trasna Naparka in about seventh or eighth position, and he in turn is followed by Derek O'Connor on Doran's Cross. After Doran's cross towards the tail end of that group, then is the Bowled Archie and still the back marker, Mikey O'Connor on Mountain Port. So around that bend, and Castle Swan has now kicked on into a lead of some 15 lengths. So Castle Swan put a bit of pace onto the race, but the rest of them are happy to let him go. He leads. The one who is at the head of the chasing pack is extremely busy alongside Moon Phases. Further back then to in fourth place on the outside, La Higuera, who keeps company with Patter Merchant, the son of Walken a Park, on its debut. Also towards midfield, Zivatov on the inside with the Blues Man. So here comes the leader who gets over that second fence in the back straight. They are all still standing, having taken the first five of the 13 fences. Castle Swan's lead has been reduced now to five lengths. Extremely busy remains in second spot. Third position on that one's outside now is uh, Patter Merchant, who's just ahead of the fourth runner, which in the yellow silks is Moon Phases. So they come across the top section now for the second time. Castle Swan, five to the good from Patter Merchant. Length and a half to find in third, extremely busy. And then Moon Phases, followed by the Higuera, who's on the outside of Zivatov. Still there, tucked away midfield, are the likes of the Blues Man and Trashna Naporka. And then further back to the tail of midfield is Doran's Cross, followed by the Bowled Archie. So they take the first of the three up the home straight. About a mile and a half still to race. Seven more to jump, out there in front. The horse with the white blaze on its face, that's Castle Swan, pings the nice next fence safely from Patter Merchant, racing a bit deeper on the track there for Harry Swan in second. On the inside is extremely busy, then Moon Phases, the Bluesman and the Higuera. So six out is taken by Castle Swan. So the order with a circuit or so to race. Five to jump, Castle Swan by about two to three lengths from Patter Merchant to clear second. Third on the inside, just shuffled there for a few strides, is extremely busy, who's alongside Moon Phases. In fifth and going nicely is Dennis Murphy's runner here, the Blues Man, who's on the inside of La Higuera. Then Zivatov, just being squeezed along, is the barreled Archie by Danny Fitzgerald. And after that one, we've got Doran's Cross, who's still held up at the back of that group alongside Tristan and the Parka. And then there's a break of some four lengths to the one who's always at the back of the field for the first two miles. That's Mountain Port. So five to jump in this four-year-old Geldings Maiden. Castle Swan, 
only half a length in front as he climbs over the next fence from Patter Merchant who out jumped him there slow jump at the back of the field from Doran's Cross who gets a few squeezes now by from Derek O'Connor so it is Patter Merchant going on now with moon phases as Castle Swan's time at the front has come to an end he's dropped back to third still there clinging on the inside is extremely busy biding its time as La Higuera on the out wide outside also still sitting nicely in midfield is the Blues man then Zivatov as they take this next fence so away from the fort last with about half a mile to cover three to jump a new leader now moon phases just edges on ahead of Patter Merchant Zivatov is looming on the scene in company with the Blues man the quartet that lead are covered by two lengths one who's made ground to go into a close fifth there for parking is Trasn and a Porca and they've gone on from the Higuera who's in trouble just being niggled in sixth position ahead of Doran's Cross who's trying to stay on for Derek O'Connor's pressure weakening away is extremely busy and Castle Swan has run his race uh, another one who's way out the back door pulling up is the bold Archie and also pulling up his mountain port but as they swing in and it's tight at the top as they take the third last moon phases is just in front but all the while on his shoulder ready to charge for home is Patter Merchant these two now going on from Trustin and the Porca in the red and yellow who's staying on and then down the inside the blues man is trying to get to them as they come over this one a bit clumsy at that one was moon phases possibly surrender the lead now to Patter Merchant Patter Merchant leaves Trustin and the Porca switch to the outside to come with his challenge the blues man who and staying on lunged at the last but it's Patter Merchant for Gordon Elliott and Harry Swan is doing enough here hanging a little up the run in but he's going to win the Patter Merchant gets home to beat Trustin the Parka third was the Blues man followed by Moon Phases who showed promise and then the Higuera who was outpaced followed by Zivitov they were the six finishers The result of the second race, first number 33, second number 37, third number 19. Number 31 was Ford. 33, 37, 19. Number 31 was Ford. The distances were one and a half lengths, one and a half lengths, and four lengths. One and a half lengths, one and a half lengths, and four lengths. <laughs> 